The Olympic Games of Ancient Greece began in 776 BC and were held between the city-states every four years until they were banned in AD 393 by the Roman Emperor Theodosius. The Greeks honored both their athletes and Greek gods at the games. A special truce was declared throughout the land as a matter of religious respect and as a practical step to allow people to travel to the games safely. In their heyday, the games lasted for five days and included standard events. Day one. The athletes and spectators gather to prepare for the games. They have come from city-states all over Greece. Officials make sacrifices and offer prayers to the gods in opening ceremonies. Day two. The games begin. First are the equestrian events, horse and chariot racing. Later, the pentathlon is held, a competition of five events, the discus throw, the javelin throw, jumping, running, and wrestling. Day three, there are prayers, a feast, and a procession to the altar of Zeus, whom the games honor. The 40-foot statue of the ruler of the gods was one of the wonders of the ancient worlds. Day four, a day of intense competition. There are a variety of foot races, wrestling and boxing matches, and the brutal pancration, a sort of combination of wrestling and boxing in which almost anything is allowed. Day five. The closing day is another one of celebration and ceremony. After a great feast, the spectators and athletes begin the journey home. Spectators have tales to tell, losers perhaps a resolve to return, and winners the anticipation of a hero's welcome back home. I'm Mrs. Weishart. And I'm Mr. Brooks. Good night. Yes! <laughs> we, we That's why we don't teach jokes, folks. <laughs>